All right, guys. Part two of looking at the patch notes for patch 7.0. So you've watched the first part, you know the deal. Let's just get into this. So Young Link, Young Link's buffs. Ooh, this character. I think this is a character most people are both most excited for and scared about in the new patch. So let's talk about the buffs, right? Neutral attack one is yeah, comes out faster, probably just a frame or two, which is nice. Having the thing about jabs in this game is. Fast jabs are really good for any character because you just want an option to throw it when someone's in your face. Whether it gives you combos or kills or anything, even just does damage against people away from you. Especially if your characters want a zone, having that quick jab just like get away from me is so key. So that's nice. Up smash has more knockback. Um, it kills by like 10% earlier, I think I was hearing. I think this one kills like 20% earlier. And like up air and forward throw kill like 10% earlier on average. So that's pretty big. You know, that move is already a. A good combo ender, although I'm sure it's not going to be like Nair, Up Smash, Kill Combo anytime soon. But it's good as Shield option. It can be a good like Tech Chase option, uh, Ledge uh, Trap option. So it's actually his best Smash probably, and now it's that much better. So, very scary. Up Air kills earlier. Once again, scary. That was a very good Up Air for Kill and Catches Landings. You can combo into it. I'll be scared if there's like bigger windows to kill with this, and I'm sure there are, because there's already like combos that if you don't DI things properly or they catch you properly. They can come with upper and kill you, so that's just gonna be better now. And then forward throw, honestly, versus Young Link, I'll be living so long versus him. And then like just taking throws a ledge and not dying, and if this kills even like ten percent earlier. That's gonna be ten percent unless I can't just go to ledge, shield, and know if they grab me, I won't die, and know if I bait out the grab, I get hard punished, right? Where it's like the risk reward now is so much more favorable on this forward throw. And then this is the big deal though. So his Zare has a better angle for combos, including kill confirms as far as I've heard. Even with the eye, you can set up tech chases to kill you, and it comes out faster. Not only does, I think it's actually the Zare self moves faster, not the frame that is adjusted, but same thing basically. If he's getting basically max range Zare, like two frames faster, right? So, and this move was honestly a really good move that was just held back by the fact that the max range was a little bit slow to get to. So it's coming out faster and having better angle for hitting people is like, oof. And then increased amount of time opponents will be in damage animation. In other words, hit stun. So now there's more hits on the move, even adding more to the combo ability of this move. So like his air, his mid air grab. Ooh, it's gonna be scary. And then he's a character that especially benefits from the increased shield size because his up air shield is so strong that he doesn't want to get shield poked. So. Watch out. I won't be surprised this character rises through the tiers very rapidly with these changes. I am actually afraid. Because they just gave this character a completely new option usual. Uh, Mewtwo, shield stuff. Missed a game in Watsi. Not watch, Watsi. <laughs> they wound up, yeah, I showed more. That's why they increased his shield size. Um, oh, this one, the Zero Suit nerf. So. This is the first of three characters that got nerfed, like, directly. And this nerf was big. So, when I saw this, I was freaking out. You can mash out of this move at 100%, her down B berry. At 100% if you're mashing one, if you can get out before she has time to dash up and up B you. If she drifts towards you after down B, she can still do up B there. But, like, actually even that's kind of hard. You can probably mash out just in time. But if she has to, like, dash to you, she's not getting the up B if you mash well. And if you're like at 70 and below, she just can't do down B up B. That's it. So, and that's a big deal, right? Because she's a character that if you're ledge trapping her, and you messed up the ledge trap and got down B to like 70, you would die. Like, as, as anyone that was a heavyweight. It was actually really bullshit. <laughs> so now, the fact is, you can take a lot more risk for a certain ledge trapping her, because down B is not as scary. When she's using down B in neutral, you don't go right getting down B to neutral and just dying at like, unreasonable percents. Because now the zero suit player has to kind of commit to the down B. Well, they had to commit. It don't have to land next to you. But now they don't land next to you, they can't really get the up B afterwards or like anything off of it really. Which means they have to commit to down B and holding towards you kind of expecting to hit or hit confirming it really well, which is difficult. And so, yeah, it just makes the like the risk worth the ledge a lot easier to ledge up her because it's less favorable for her. It makes using down B a neutral, not a honestly really silly option that she should have had in the first place. And it's a really actually really hurts her because this is a big source of her cheese, like a big source of her cheese. So I'm cool with this. Change the music. 
Um, that's good. And also, another thing I want to mention is because a lot of characters are going to increase shield size, um, that means down B is going to proc earlier on shields. Like, if you hit someone's, like, shield with down B, you obviously got, like, the footstool, right? But that means by doing it earlier, she's going to be a little bit farther away from platforms, which means there's a slightly bigger window to punish her if she's, like, say, trying to down B off the ledge on PS2. Which I'm not sure that's going to matter a lot, but that might end up being relevant. This character's still going to be top tier for sure, but I think she'll be honestly fairly balanced with this move being nerfed the way it was. All these shield things. Oh, Toon Link. Oh, actually, Olimar first. Yeah, Olimar is a character that was... Yeah, I feel like it was notable that his shield was bad, right? You know, everyone's complaining about Olimar's shield being awful for all of us, because he would get poked with the full shield outside of, like, where his head is. And that could still happen, but not when his shield's full. So that's nice, that we can actually have a full shield and not get poked with full shields. And then when we tell our shield, it's going to be big enough to actually block attacks. So... For Olimar in particular, the shield I think is a big deal, because in a lot of matchups, it felt like we didn't have a shield. So, more so than any other character in the game. So that's nice. That's gonna... That, that's gonna be... I don't even want to say a buff for Olimar, that's gonna be a great fix for him. That's also gonna raise his ranking in the tier list IMO. Definitely gonna help us out a lot, and definitely gonna fix a lot of our... Like, the reasons we stress out. Because, oh my god, Olimar players... We be getting stressed sometimes, man. Let me tell you. Shit just sometimes goes down and we're just like... You know, we don't deserve this. We have to hold that L. But we just... We didn't deserve it. I just realized. This didn't look great. Oops. Eh, oh well. Could have been worse. So... Toon Link next. Dash attack, less end leg. Very nice, actually. This move is already not the worst on block because it was so fast that so sometimes it's hard to react to. And that means you can also chase people a bit more aggressively with dash attack. It was like minus 15 on block. I'm not sure how much less end leg it has, but. Especially on the back of someone's show, it might just be like unpunishable in certain matchups. And if you whiff this move, it's not as bad now. So overall, you know, it's a nice buff. It's a good move for him. Especially because it's like a kill move for him. Down smash is extra knockback. And that was already a good down smash, honestly. That was like a solid kill move once again. Came out fast. Decent hitboxes. Um, yeah. Can't complain as if you're a team like player. Back air. So one issue people have with back air is that rising back air has shield. Because it didn't hit people a lot of times, right? I'm not sure the exact startup increase on it. But even just a frame faster means it's going to be a lot more reliable as an outer shoot option because now it's going to hit people right next to Toon Link like that are short on the ground or pancake or whatever, right? Whereas before, a lot of times you would actually whiff on those characters. So, really cool there. Means you can combo into it a bit more and like use it for like back air loops. Well, not loops, like back air ladders. So, that's going to... might be the biggest buffer him, honestly. Because I think being able to use this as a shield more, being able to use it as like a pressure tool more, combo, extender, starter, finisher, whatever you want to do with it. I think that's, in, in every way, this is a move that was almost perfectly functional, but the lack of being perfectly functional hurt him a lot. So, big deal. I honestly can't underrate how much of a big deal this is because the character itself seems very good, but always has something lacking. And this may kind of bring, like, the Toon Lake player is, like, to new levels. And then the down air has a stronger sour spot. And whatever, honestly. I mean, it's, it's gonna help, but whatever. And then his air, it looks like it lingers a little bit longer in the air, so that's cool. Not, like, a, a super big deal IMO, but it's cool. Shield size, shield size. I don't get this exactly. Because if this is his, uh, the side beat, like, lunges forward and grabs people, why they buff that? Like... Honestly, why? This is like the one of the moves that they had no reason to buff. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. How long are we doing this? You know, I'm going to stop this here now. Because I want to talk about Palatina for a while in the next, uh, next video. So see you all in the next one.